Welcome to hypoproliferative anemias, anemia of inflammation. We have the following take-home points. Anemia of inflammation is normocytic with elevated ferritin, decreased serum iron, and decreased total iron binding capacity. The anemia is typically mild with a hemoglobin range of 8 to 10 grams per deciliter. Management involves treating the underlying disorder. In anemia of inflammation, increased inflammatory cytokines lead to increased hepcidin production. Hepcidin causes internalization and proteolysis of ferroportin in enterocytes and macrophages, leading to decreased iron absorption from the gut and transfer into the reticular endothelial system. Therefore, there are low circulating iron levels, low transfer and saturation, low total iron binding capacity, and high concentrations of ferritin. Inflammatory cytokines also act on the kidneys to blunt the erythropoietin response to anemia, which leads to decreased bone marrow production of red blood cells. Anemia of inflammation typically presents with mild anemia with a hemoglobin in the range of 8 to 10 grams per deciliter. The anemia is normocytic and normochromic, but over time can become microcytic. The reticulocyte count is typically low for the degree of anemia. Conditions associated with anemia of inflammation include congestive heart failure, critical illness, diabetes, infection, malignancy, obesity, and severe trauma. Management involves treatment of the underlying disorder. In summary, anemia of inflammation is normocytic with increased ferritin, decreased iron, and decreased total iron binding capacity. The anemia is typically mild with a hemoglobin range of 8 to 10 grams per deciliter. Management involves treating the underlying disorder. This ends our video on hypoproliferative anemias, anemia of inflammation.